Welcome. Welcome. Right. You're not going to believe this. I'm sorry if you can hear the lawnmower, but that is actually part, a very small part of what I'm going to be talking about. Right. Do you see him? Do you see this shoe bill stalk? Right. Have you seen him before? What? Who is he? Right. Where does he come from? Right. Because somebody just said to me, look at this lawn. I've cut the back lawn and I've looked out the bedroom window and it wasn't cut. And then and then as they came up to look out the window with me, I could see the wheel marks then, you know, you have to have it on high because it's been like your vibes because it's been damp, hasn't it? Right. So that was exactly that. That shit. That was a shift. That right. And I'll tell you some tells. I don't like him. Right. Look, he's got. I, well, I don't know. I don't really know about him. Right. But he looks to me like he's smirking. Right. That's what he looks to me like. And we all know about stalks, don't we? Now, before I go any further, look at her. She has got lifting her child up. The child has got, like, a, a hair is up in, like, a bun. Yeah. On top with a ribbon. She's got a dress on. That's a girl. And she's lifting her up. And then if you lift, look again, she's turned round to us. Right? That's how they the can move. Right? These entities are there. Right? Getting back to the stalk. Right? I'll tell you what. And I'll tell you this for... Well, I'm telling you everything for nothing. <laughs> right? I'll tell you this. When you... people, Some of you people now are going to know what I'm talking about. When you... Um, get your gifts, which a lot of you at the moment are hiding, right? Or you don't believe yourself. And um, what what you once thought was supernatural, right? Becomes natural. That's what happens to you. Look, witchy, witchy, batty woman. Anyway, the, getting back to him. No, where? No, where were we? Um, right, him, right, so, he's a stalk, the, I've only seen him, right, once, about a year ago, I seen the picture of him, right, and then, and then today, so, the one I saw a year, ugh, about a year ago, I thought it was fake, I thought they're just doing, you know, just doing that, I've never seen one of them in my life. And if our schooling was good, why hadn't I seen one of them all of my life, right? Which leads us, can lead us into, it can lead us into a number of things, this, right? I'll just get rid of this stalk bit, right? So, the stalk, right, as we know, it's it was said to children, right, um... Instead of discussing sex, it's like we'll, you know, we'll, um, I'll just look in while I'm talking. Um, oh, this one now, this one here has changed into, look at the skirt coming right up, flaring right up like that. It reminds me of Marilyn Monroe. There's another conspiracy theory. Something funny there. Anyway, this bird, right, has led me <laughs> down the garden path in a rabbit hole and everything, right? Because, the, you know, they are, you know, rebirth, aren't they? Associated with, with birth, with the stalk brings the baby, uh, just like um, we found him under a gooseberry bush, right? Now then, the gooseberry bush part, I haven't looked into. I stopped myself when I seen it was supposed to signify the female pubic hair. So I'm leaving that one. I do not know the civic, I do not know the significance 
of this, right? And it leads on to another thing, water the plants that I've got. <laughs> it's too many things. This is all what's going on, the synchronisation, so you have to try and get yourself focused. I post every day, two, three times a day on here, right? And um, I never miss. And yesterday, I didn't post at all because of the energies that was going on. It Because of that strength coming out all the time, you have to build your strength up for what's coming, right? He, to me, right, what he stands for is not only this big shift that you're all through now, because a stalk symbolises the birth of the world. So well done. You've seen him. You have jumped timelines. And this timeline story is a completely different story. You can jump timelines moment by moment, right? But getting back to him, there is also, right, the fact that I think he is a Mandela effect. I think that's what's going on here. It's one of them. Like like when all all um all the uh, what do you call it? Bloody hell. The change to marathons. No, that when all the marathons yeah <laughs> change to Snickers, right? Which we know all all the you know, make them smaller business, all that blah, right? But that was that was like that's a Mandela effect, right? And the, and it, and that's what I'm saying. Anything like this, right, that you can't remember, that anything like you can't remember, um, that face shocked. That's, that's probably you. Who's that? You see them? Anything that you can't remember, e even between... You, you know, your siblings uh, or your, your mother and your child, some some of you remember things and you think, no, that wasn't how it went down at all. Not at all, right? And you're both adamant, right? Yes, because it did in your timeline. That's how it went down, right? We jump in them all of the time. Right? So, he was never, till this time in my life, been in my life. And he is a big old bird. Right? <laughs> this is a big old jump. Right? So, he also, the, the, they was the stalks, right? They get mixed up between the family of them, right? Because it could have been a pelican flying, and which it looks like a stalk with a baby, you know dangle in there um there's lots of fables it, this the stark fable right is in every country that it, it is everywhere and they all have different interpretations of it but it's all to do with rebirth which is what is happening now right now right so and um in europe the people used to couples used to marry right in the in the summer right and because that's when the stalks went on migration, right? And they came back nine months later to have their chicks here in Europe in the spring. And that would usually coincide with the same as the newlyweds' babies. If, if this and if that. Because look at this face here. See, big witch's hat on. Big witch. There's a nicer one behind. Um, where were we? Oh, same as the newly bed weds, right? Um, so he's smirking, isn't he? He's smirking. Look at that nasty face. Who the hell's that? Needn't come near me today. I'm having none of it. She's just blowing in the wind. There's a, there's a snake in that flower. It's like a flower. Anywhere you might have a snake in the camp, um, which ties in with the water, the plants business, but I'll have to do that on a different one. Um, I'm going to confuse you too much. So, if, this is a big bird, right? Um, like I said, I didn't like the Hans Christian Andersen fable, right? Because 
that was about storks plucking dreaming babies from ponds and lakes and then delivering them to deserving families and um, sometimes if the families other children misbehave they would have a receive a dead baby instead how twisted is that just as twisted as the things that are coming out now about children um just as twisted and more so the witch there's somebody else watching us here blonde hair can you see looks like blonde hair um so he to me it, it you know oh, what i was saying about the marathons that was like a a, a collective shift do you know what i mean you can have big collective shift like he is here right but you have in your own all of the time and um so he that's where he is a mandela effect right and um Oh, she's back holding her. She's back a kid again. That yeah, you found your inner child. That's what that means as well. Somebody shouting, howling. They they like stood like with the hands up in the air, like what the hell's going on? And this person's got his hands over his eyes, like don't show me, don't show me. Which is what what I was talking about with the supernatural becoming natural. Oh, natural. <laughs> do I do, I do, what with the gooseberry bush and the, <laughs> and the pubic hair? Oh, my Lord, where did these take me? 